my name is Chris Bowd. I'm a counselor at Brookdale Community College, and welcome to the Brookdale Counseling Department's online tutorial videos. Today we're going to talk about how to calculate your grade point average. As you can see, I'm on the grade information page of the academic catalog for Brookdale, which is located on the Brookdale website. Let me take a minute to show you how to get to this page. The first thing we're going to do is go back to the home page. The Brookdale home page is located at www brookdalecc.edu. Once you're on the home page, you can go to the catalogs link, which is at the top of the screen in the light blue bar on the right. Once you're on the catalogs page, you can click on the current Brookdale catalog 2011-2012. From here, we're going to go to the navigation bar, which is on the left-hand side, and we're going to click on grade information. All right, and you can see that we are back here on the grading system page. To assist us in calculating our grade point average today, I made a simple spreadsheet using Microsoft Excel. You do not have to make a spreadsheet in order to calculate your grade point average, but for our graphical purposes today, I thought it would be easier to show it by using this. So we have a student who has taken several classes, and we have them listed here. The student is taking Math 145, Chemistry 136, Psychology 106, Sociology 101, Speech 115, English 121, Biology 111, and Biology 112. And you can see I've entered grades for the student. You, of course, can find your grades when you enter the portal and enter WebAdvisor and look up your grades. You then will need the number of credits that your classes are worth. If you do not know how many credits your classes are worth, you can look them up in the Brookdale catalog, or as I said, you can look on the WebAdvisor part of the portal and look at your grades, and the number of credits will be displayed there. Okay, for our purposes today, I know how many credits each of the classes are worth, so let's enter them now. Math 145 is a four credit class. Chemistry 136 is also a four credit class. Psychology 106 is a three credit class. Sociology 101 is also three credits. Speech 115 is three credits. English 121 is three credits. And Biology 111 and Biology 112 are both four credits. The next thing you will need is the grade points. This is how many points your grades are worth. And that's when we need to go back to the grade information page in the catalog. And you can see here how many points each of the grades are worth. An A is worth 4 points, an A- minus is worth 3.67 points, a B plus is worth 3.3 points, a B is worth 3 points, a B- minus is worth 2.67 points, a C plus is worth 2.33 points, a C is worth 2 points, a P is worth 2 points, that is a passing grade if you select pass fail for one of your classes, a D is worth 1 point, and an F is worth zero points. Okay, if you audit a class, that means you are taking the class simply for your own knowledge and will not receive credit. Therefore, it would not be calculated into your grade point average. A W means that you withdrew from a class. That means you dropped the class before the withdrawal date, and a W will show in your grades. A W is not calculated into your grade point average. So let's pull up our spreadsheet, and let's minimize it so that we can see both our spreadsheet and the grade points. So for Math 145, you can see that our student earned a B-. minus. If we look over at the catalog page, you can see a B- minus is worth 2.67 points. So we're going to enter that under our grade points, 2.67. Next, for Chemistry 136, our student earned a B+. Plus. So we can see that that is worth 3.67. 33 points, and we're going to enter 3.33. And in Biology 112, the student earned a B, and again that is 3 points. The next thing we need to do is multiply the number of credits by the grade point. So, for Math 145, we can see that that is a 4 point class, and we're going to multiply that by the grade point, which is 2.67 we get 10.68. And we're now going to do that for each of our classes. So for chemistry, we have 4, 
times 3.3. And then for biology 112, we're going to multiply 4 times 3. All right, our next step is to add up all of our credits. So let's add up all of our credits, and we're going to use the tools within Microsoft Excel to do this. Again, you do not have to use Microsoft Excel. You can use a calculator, or you can simply do the math on your own. So we can see that the credits, our total credit number is 28. Our next step is to add the column where we multiplied our grade points by the number of credits. And we can see the sum from that column is 82.31. Now, in order to get your grade point average, we need to divide. So we're going to divide the sum that we got from adding all of the grade points multiplied by the credits. So we have our 82. 0.31, and we're going to divide that by our total number of credits, which was 28. And you can see that our grade point average is a 2.939643. That's long, okay. Your grade point average will only be carried out to two places. So we can say that our grade point average is actually a 2.94. So that's how you calculate your grade point average.